what it is or what it ain't. I'ma let y'all know what I really think. This your boy Gold Mouth Short, and I'ma get straight down to business. I need everybody to go smash that like button, man. Smash that subscribe button, man. And comment on the channel. And if you really mess with me, man, go ahead and donate a dollar to my cash app. Uh, mag promo m-a-g-p-r-o-m-o -O. and i'm gonna keep bringing you some quality content all i do is bring you the latest and the greatest news and information you know i gotta put the disclaimer out because everything for education and purposes only and entertainment but i ain't gonna hold you up too much longer let me go ahead and play y'all some new content blessings in abundance today's stream is about them wanting to be black and you're ashamed of it. We're about to have what they call what? Black Friday. Very interesting when it comes to the words because nobody wants to be black, right? Black has such a negative connotation. But when it comes to business, being in the black or being black is a beautiful thing. That means there's no deficit. That means that there's no debt. Businesses are looking to get out of the red. They don't want to be in the red. They want to go into the black. They want to be black. Get in the black. All black everything. They looking for a blackout. That's what it means. Because when you're in the red, you're in debt. So they cut these prices, get ready for the new season. Because they want to be black or be in the black or get black. So this goes back to the words. Because words are our GPS to reality. If you don't understand the words you're using, you don't understand what direction you're going in. You don't understand the impact that words can have on manifestation. And as I always say, you are the... Dealing with manifestation or you're dealing with man infestation. So I'll say it again. You're either dealing with manifestation or man infestation. So if you're not productive, if you're not producing, you're retarded. And what does retardation mean? Look up the word retardation. It has nothing to do with being mentally ill. Retardation means impeding on one's ability to progress. The inability to progress. To slow down. To procrastinate. So you're suffering from retardation if you know you're supposed to be doing things to help you progress, but you keep procrastinating. That's called retardation. Sheesh, man. Y'all heard that, man. Let me play y'all a little bit more of the clip, man. And y'all getting them comments to let me know what y'all think about it. Just chill. But people tell you you have to be humble. But look up the word humble. And you see that humble means to have a lower estimation of one's importance. And how can you be successful if you have a lower estimation of your own importance? I say it again. How can you be powerful? How can you be successful if you have a lower estimation of your own importance? You have to feel important to a cause in order for you to be successful. Look up these words, humility. A lot of these words don't mean nearly what has been suggested to us. I had a woman over here because I said, I'm blessed to have women at my disposal. She's thinking garbage cans. A lot of us are functionally illiterate. Functional illiterates. And I'm like, you got to properly contextualize what I'm saying because I'm at my students' disposal when I'm mentoring them. So I had to double check and go into Merriam-Webster's dictionary to see what does it mean to be at the disposal of someone else. And it simply means that you are available onto them to be used as the resource that you are. But here we are, people get upset about words and terms that are being used that they don't even understand. Huh? I'm not a physical being. I'm a ethereal being embarking upon a physical experience. But like I said, if you're not manifesting, if you're not dealing with manifestation, you're dealing with man infestation because if you're not doing anything that's productive because you're procrastinating, then that's retarded and that's probably because you're being too humble. Do you see how I put all of that together? Words are our GPS to reality. I promise you this. And many of us have been set up from the very beginning, 
many of us have been set up from the very beginning just from the words and terms that we've been using. And holiday season is coming up right now. Okay? So because holiday season is coming up right now, I want to really connect with you guys about not just investing in yourself, whether it be my program or someone else's. I want you guys <clears throat> to go back into black. I want you guys to get into the black. Okay? Meaning, get out of debt. Get out the red and get into the black. Get back into the black paradigm. Because in business, when you're in the black, it's a beautiful thing. Black is beautiful in business because it means you haven't accumulated enough debt that's adverse to your survival or your progression. So today I'm talking to you about black power. We got to start sending correspondences to Lexis Nexis, L-E-X-I-S, N-E-X-I-S, Lexis Nexis. We got to start sending correspondences to checks systems, C-H-E-X, checks systems. Because these are the dry snitching ass organizations that are soliciting data on at the bequest of other entities such as your credit bureaus and other financial institutions so they could red ball you, not black ball you. So they could put you in the red. That's why I have credit card redlining, where they draw a red line through a map and say, if anybody lives in these areas, don't give them opportunities or give them very little opportunities when it comes to money. Because most people are not saving a bunch of money under their mattress. Most people are using insurance monies. And most people are using I'll say it again, real estate monies, insurance monies, insurance monies to purchase real estate, and credit opportunities. They're using insurance and credit to amass wealth. They're using credit to invest. They're using insurance to invest. But you're redlined because they can't deny you of these opportunities because you're a race, but they can't deny you of these opportunities because you're a zip code. But many races exist in clusters per each zip code. So they're technically denying you of opportunities based on your race. So we might have to add a positive item to your credit report and, and have you get an address via UPS, a UPS address, not a United States Postal Office address, because bureaus interpret that address or get you an address at City Hall, because bureaus interpret those addresses as residential or business and if you stay there for two months plus your credit score goes up 75 or more points what is lexus nexus to i want you guys to understand what black power means in economics black power because black is a beautiful thing when it comes to business companies want to get out the red they want to go back into the black that's what Black Friday is about. It's not about racism. Black Friday is about the most beautiful thing in this world. Going back into black. The beauty of black. Out of all terminologies they use, black is beautiful when it comes to business. We're beautiful people. Black is beautiful. Out of all words they chose to use, black is beautiful when it comes to business. Every business around this time of year is doing their best to get out of the red to go into the black. But you will still be subject to much hardship and duress if you don't understand the entities that are working against you. Jeez, man, we heard enough on this one here, man. Everybody, make sure you smash that uh, subscribe button on your way out. Peace and mind. Bye. <laughs>